Welcome to this first module of the course. We are going to focus on visualizing and analyzing some spiking data that was recorded from the visual cortex. In this video, I'm going to give you a bit of a background about vision neuroscience so you have an idea of what kind of data we'll be working with and the reason for doing some of the analyses that we will do. And the focus in MATLAB over the next several videos in this module is going to be data types, for loops and vectorizations, logical indexing, and data visualization. As you know, neurons communicate with each other through electrochemical signaling. And when a neuron receives a sufficient amount of excitation, it emits what's called an action potential, which is a rapid depolarization and then repolarization of the cell, and you see a diagram of this depicted here. This is the membrane voltage potential over time. Now, this is just a, a diagram. Here you can see some actual empirical uh, voltage traces with action potentials as these sharp spiky events here. So you can see from the time scale here that action potentials are pretty fast. They last only a few milliseconds. And although these waveform shapes are different between different neurons, depending on the properties of the neurons and the locations of the neurons relative to the recording electrode, usually neuroscientists are not interested in the waveform shape itself, but instead are interested in the timing of the action potential. So therefore, these kinds of continuous time series are often simplified to only record the timestamp of when the action potential occurred like what you see here. Now, let me tell you a little bit about orientation tuning. So it turns out that individual neurons in visual cortex tend to fire action potentials more frequently for certain kinds of stimuli or stimuli, stimuli that have certain orientations. So here you see an example from the famous study by Hubel and Wiesel. So the traces that you see here are the membrane potential. These are voltage fluctuations over time and all these little spikes these are the action potentials of this particular neuron. And these black bars here illustrate the visual stimulus that was presented to the animal while the activity of these neurons was recorded. And then what you see in this plot is that certain stimulus orientations elicit a maximum amount of spiking. So in this case, we would say that this particular neuron is tuned to a stimulus with an orientation of zero degrees. These data are not uh, exactly mapped onto this. These are two separate examples. Now, because orientation phase is circular, we can also represent these kinds of data using a polar plot where the circular axis shows the angle of the stimulus like what you see here. And the radial axis, which is the distance away from the origin, indicates the total amount of spiking in that neuron. So that's kind of like the height on this graph here. Now, these pictures look like they reflect static images, but in fact, the gradients are changing over time. So here you see an example of such a stimulus that has a particular orientation, and it's also changing over time. And in fact, this is the kind of stimulus that was used in the experiment that we are going to analyze data from. So with that in mind, this is the paper that we are going to be analyzing data from. Now, this paper involved more sophisticated analyses than what you are going to do in this module. But if you're curious about where the data came from, you can feel free to check out this paper. Now, the data that you will be analyzing is a subset of the published data. You can download the data that you will need in this module in the online resources associated with this video. And if you're curious about all of the data, so the full data set from the study, uh, that's also available from the CRCMS website, the direct URL, so the link is in the MATLAB code. So these data were recorded using a special kind of electrode that's called a Utah array. The Utah array is a 10 by 10 grid of electrodes. So each of these you know, spokes coming out here is a specific electrode. And this entire construct is implanted into the visual cortex of a monkey. And then the recordings were done while the monkey was looking at the drifting sine wave gradients that I showed in the previous slide. All right, so this was the first video of this module. The rest of the videos in this module are going to be focused on MATLAB work. So in the next video, we're going to import the data. We're going to do some data conversions. And then we will create some uh, histograms of spike counts 
And then in video four, we are going to create tuning curves, just like what I showed a few slides ago. And in the final two videos, we will create some spatial maps so we can visualize how the different features of the data are distributed over the spatial grid of the Utah array.